Woo! What a beautiful day, what a beautiful day. Oh, the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and we are going to continue building our earth bag cistern. We're getting close. We'll have plenty of time to finish this cistern before the monsoon rains come, and that will be an exciting time for sure. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna start doing course number 15. Oh, check this out, y'all. Look at that. Oh, it's like two and a half courses above the ground. Ah, but we're gonna keep going up. Still waiting on that liner though. It's crazy. I don't even know when it's gonna get here. Well, I have an idea of when it's gonna get here. Hopefully this week, we will see. But we don't wanna go too high, otherwise it's gonna be tough getting that liner down uh, in there. Jessica's out here! <laughs> We're ready to get started. The Green Dream Team is all together. This is gonna be way too dry for you. Yes. <laughs> it's been, it's been it's, sitting here since our last It's course. been baking in the sun. It's dust. You don't wanna build your earth bag walls with dust. Hard ones. Time to armor up. Protected. <laughs> Let's get this out of here. DDS, come on. DD Mao. She cuts that out. It won't be in there. You won't hear it. Jess, I don't know. Why do you expect me to know things that I say? DD Mao. Oh, ho, 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 she's Googling it. DD Mao, Vietnamese eatery. See, it's an eatery. It's not even a big deal. Not a common way to say hurry up in Vietnamese. So it means kind of like hurry up, hurry up now, or hurry up fast, right? I guess. Didi Mao! more Jersey squirts over here. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Do you feel more comfortable with Hershey squirts or Jersey squirts? Both sounds gross. <laughs> <laughs> no, no squirts. I got, the, I got the Jersey squirts. <laughs> you get that when you go to Jersey? That's what I hear. I ain't never been to Jersey. You're not even, it's not even squirting, you're splashing. But the Jersey splashes don't sound <laughs> as cool. Give me a squirt. Give me a squirt. Break me off a piece of that Jersey squirt. <sighs> <laughs> It's a completely original jingle. <laughs> it's like something a five-year-old would do. So you're saying my humor is akin to a five-year-old's. Hot and windy out here, eh? I guess it is the desert. <laughs> that sun ain't no joke, eh? Does the wind help out here with the intense sun? Not um, much. Kind of changes things up. Getting blasted in the face with the sun, and then get a blast of wind. <laughs> no one's buying that. <laughs> You're not convincing people to move to the desert. Too 
you barely close it. You ready to do your finisher? Ready? You're on a move! Boom! Boom, shakalaka! Yeah, it's the morning time. I'm still tamping away at these bags. It just got too late last night. I was too tired. I'm like, you know what? I'll get the rest of these in the morning. But today's an exciting day. We're expecting a very special delivery. So after I do this, there's still a lot more to do to get ready for this delivery. I remember when we used to use these bags as sort of like a stepping stone to get down. And <laughs> here we are now, I gotta put a ladder in there to get in and out of the cistern. It's crazy. But I gotta get down there, I got a lot of cleaning to do. I gotta get all that dust up, especially all the rocks and hard clay. I want that out of there. So the one kind of cool thing about how tall these walls are now, a little bit of a wind buffer. I don't gotta worry about the wind coming over and knocking the camera down if I'm inside the cistern, right? Uh, so I got a little bit of work to do before our delivery gets here and I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited, I can't wait to show you guys what's coming. But I, got, I wanna clean off all these dirt and rocks down at the bottom here. Just stuff that's been collecting from when I was back filling, things blowing in from the wind and everything like that. I think as tall as these walls are now, I shouldn't have to worry about too much debris getting inside of here. So it's time to clean it all up, get it all out of here. Kind of give the bottom of the cistern a little clean. Man, there's so much dirt down here. Not sure if it was appropriate to come down here with a broom or if I should have brought a shovel. You know, honestly, after all the shoveling and tamping, doing a little sweeping down here isn't such a bad job. I think the bottom of the cistern here is looking pretty good. I just wanted to basically get up any of the large rocks, anything that I think has a risk of puncturing the liner. Just get it up, get it out of here. A little bit of sand, a little bit of dust, and that ain't gonna hurt nothing. But I think I did a pretty good job. Let's get the boss over here, see what she thinks. Hey Jess! Hey Jess, you busy? All right, the boss is coming. This is the first time she's seen it. <laughs> Look a little different? Yeah. That's good? It's pretty good. I mean, I probably don't have to mop it. Yeah, it doesn't have to be mopped. <laughs> Seal of approval? Yeah. So when I installed this pipe, I put a little board right underneath the pipe because I didn't want the pipe to be right up along the barbed wire. I wanted a little bit of buffer in between there. But then I noticed when we did the bags, the board's just a little bit more exposed than I'm comfortable with. Also, I gotta show you this. In some areas, I noticed that there is some barbed wire exposure. So I got some of this Loctite foam, and I'm gonna use some of this just to fill in some of these gaps, especially where there's things exposed. This stuff is the Loctite foam. It's got four times more density than your traditional foam sealant, and uh, definitely uh, very, uh, very resistant to uh, any kind of being exposed to any elements or anything like that, but it shouldn't get anything this far down. I'm seeing a semi truck, and we don't get too many semi trucks coming down this way. <laughs> yeah, no, that's going to be a tight turn for him. Uh, hopefully, he can do it, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be the liner. So, very excited. It's always tough for the drivers to get in here. I'm always impressed when they can make it in. I'm excited, I'm ecstatic over here. We got the line of delivery. Oh, so we'll show you here uh, in a bit, but this is actually two liners packed in here. And eventually we'll get to uh, what we're using these both for. Ah! <laughs> I'm jazzed, I'm jazzed. So what do you think, what do you think? Ah! 
this is it. The liner has been delivered. We got an end to the cistern and man, I am crazy excited. So we've been getting the question now, how exactly are you going to make this cistern watertight? How are you gonna keep the water inside these earth bags? And that's a great question. This gives you the idea. This is how we're gonna do it. We got the liner. It is a 40 mil pond liner made for potable water. Incredibly exciting. This thing is gonna be super durable, super tough. And I think it's gonna be perfect for what we're doing out here. And there's maybe other ways we could have lined it. Maybe we could have done a uh, ferro cement. Considering we used a complete earthen fill for the earth bag, we just didn't feel comfortable lining it with a ferro cement with the earth expanding and contracting like it does and the ferro cement not, uh, there's a chance that maybe uh, it could have cracked. And if it cracks and springs a leak, then we're really screwed. But this should be able to flex with any kind of breathing that the earth does. And we think this will be a really great fit for our particular cistern. But we'll probably go over different ways you can do cistern later on. But now that we got this in here, we're ready to go up even higher with this build. And then we got some prep work that we gotta do for a different part later on. And then we'll build this up to its height and then we'll put the roof on. So exciting, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, thanks so much for joining us everyone. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and definitely subscribe because you don't wanna miss a thing that's going on out here. Catch you on the next video, everyone. Bye.